percents, and circle graphs. A circle graph is used to show parts of a whole. The entire circle represents 100%. To draw a percent on a circle, think of what you already know and estimate from there. 50%. Think to yourself, 50% is the same as one half, so you would draw one half and color it in. 33% is the same as one third. Draw your circle into thirds and go from there. 25% is one fourth. And 75% is the same as three fourths. If you have an odd per percent, put a dot in the middle and draw your fourths. You can estimate from there in fives. For example, if you have 30%, you could draw in 25% plus another 5%. Sketch a circle graph and shade the fraction or percent below, 3 eighths. Always start with the dot in the middle, that'll be easier. To draw fours, you go down and across, and eighths, you cut each one of those, 3 eighths. And you would check it by thinking 3 eighths is less than 1 half, so you should have colored less than 1 half. When you sketch percentages, start with the dot in the middle and your fourths. You can see right here, 73% is just a little less than 75%. So you would color in just a tiny bit less than 75%. Don't forget to label 73%. And then your remaining should be 25, 25 plus a little bit more should be 27%. But if you'll start with what you know, your quarters and your thirds and your halves, then it will be easier for you. You can use a circle graph to represent votes. Here we voted on our favorite Girl Scout cookies. What percent of the students preferred each type of cookie? Thin mints. So make sure, first of all, you can read your graph. Thin mints is 40%. Read the careful questions carefully. What fraction of the students preferred a certain type? Trefoils. So think of trefoils, 5%. 5% is the same as 5 over 100 which is the same as 1 20th. Always reduce. You can also use this same information and use percent of a number to solve problems. For example, if 500 students are voting, how many would prefer tagalongs? So here we have tagalongs. 15% of 500 students, so we're trying to figure out how many of those would prefer tagalongs, change your percent to a decimal by moving your decimal over two places to the left, change your of to multiplication times 500. 500 times 0.15 and multiply that out. Drop a zero. Don't forget to put in your decimals, two decimal places in the question, so two decimal places in the answer. So 75 students would prefer tagalongs out of 500 students.